Welcome back to Weekend Smile, guys. So, Kareen Bell Stewart wanted to nurture her children's positive self image, so she wrote the book A Letter to My Young Melanin. She joins us now with more details. Hi, Kareen. Good morning. Good morning. How Hi, are Kareen. you? Welcome. I I still be here. How are you guys doing? Good morning. We're doing very, great. Very, very now, good. Letters to my young melanin. Was there a specific uh, experience that you had, or even an experience of your children that you know inspired you to to write this book? Um, overall, um, being Jamaican and transitioning to living in the U.S., the color of your skin, our dialect, it's different. And whether or not I was born in Jamaica or not, the color of our skin is always going to be a topic. So I have a 12-year-old daughter that's almost 13, and she struggles a lot moving from the big city of New York to a small, I'm not going to say small, because Atlanta is also a big city. Mm -hmm. um, she was bullied, and then she would often tell me that she's not beautiful and I'm not pretty. And it didn't sit well with me at all, as any mother would. So I came up with small ways where I encouraged her. Tell, I told her she was beautiful. I wrote her notes. I saw, sent her text messages, yeah. whichever, whichever means necessary, just to tell her. So one day... When I was cleaning out her bathroom, I came across some of the notes that I used to write to her. And then I told myself, you know, I'm going to put this into a book. Maybe other parents out there that feel the same way that I'm feeling, and maybe they want to share this with their children as well. <clears throat> so that's why I came up with it, and it's here. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I absolutely love it. I think the title is fantastic. Yeah. And it's such a great book for our for our kids, really, and really for our generation. So kudos to you for doing that. Um, but for you, though, growing up in Jamaica, because you are from Jamaica, right, before you, you migrated. Um, yes. so, so growing up, were you always a self-assured person? Were you always sure of your own beauty and your own melanin? Yes. I went to Donald Quarry High. Mm -hmm. I was a top student. Personally, I don't think I deserved to go to that high school, but... Because I lived across the street, my grandmother chose to send me to that school because mm -hmm. she didn't want me to mix with other kids on the bus and stuff like that. So I was an extraordinary child. Um, I was very, very outspoken. I was always sure of everything. I didn't have no doubt. I didn't have self-esteem problems or anything, but that doesn't mean that I didn't have sisters and brothers or friends that didn't struggle with this. So I am very, very much aware of what it is and what it causes. Yeah, okay, Kareen. I mean, you know, it's so interesting that you've just used your, in, your, I mean, your own experiences and, of course, the experiences of those around you, more specifically your daughter, to just put this project together. What would you say is the overall message of the book? I want parents to not be scared to talk to their kids. I realize that Growing up, I didn't have my parents around. My parents lived abroad. And a lot of kids in Jamaica do not have their parents around because it's the norm for our parents to go abroad and provide for us. So therefore, we don't have that positive voice in our ears every day, every day, telling us that we're special and we're worthy and, you know, go out and be a best. So... Overall, I just want parents to know that it is okay to speak to our children. Yeah. We need to let our children know that they're special. Yeah. Like, do not hesitate. It's, if it's even a small, I love you when they're going through the door, that can do so much for them. If you're even scared to say it to them, text it to their phones, read it to them at night. Just let them know your skin is beautiful. Your hair is beautiful. Tell them the small things that they think is nothing, is everything. Oh, Kareen. So, so I mean, Girl. such powerful Woo. words right there, my man. Trust me. Mm. And, you know, it's always so important to, to find someone or something or somewhere to, to provide you with that reassurance, you know? And just to even just to remind you that, guess what? 
you are enough, you are okay, you are beautiful, you are strong, you are intelligent, you are amazing mm. just the way you are yeah. with your melanin, you know. Kareen, so oh, wow. I mean, Debbie and I were, were touched. Thank you so much, Kareen. And, Let and, me tell you, yeah. I, I know that a lot of people will be impacted by this book. Thank you for taking the courage and for doing this book and putting it all on paper, your feelings. Uh, you know, you're going to help a lot of young girls and young boys out there yeah, man, to find their way. So thank you for joining us, Kareen. Thank you both for having me. I, I, I know that I, I, I know that we're talking about self-care today, Kareen, and I have to ask <laughs> you before you go in terms of balancing motherhood and your relationship with your children and your own personal self-care, mm -hmm. you know, how do you go about that? Before we go quickly, how do you, you go about that, that? That's a question I get asked every day. I, <laughs> I just don't know. I make time for what matters and my okay. family matters, I matter. So for, I don't know how I do it. There's 24 <laughs> hours in the day and I find every minute of the day to just make time for me, myself, my friends, my family, and myself, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur and I make it work. That's right, oh. very good, very well said. All the very best with the book, Kareen. Kareen Bell Stewart, author of the book, A Letter to My Young Melanin, right here on Weekend Smile. I love this, more to come guys, stay with us. Cheers, um. beautiful. Oh. Hi guys, so I don't know if you noticed, but the global wellness market is estimated to be worth a whopping 1.5 trillion with a T dollars, all right? So Dr. Shani Mortelli uh, is working to secure her piece of the market. She is the founder of Soma Glow, a line of skincare products, and she's here to glow us up this morning. Doc, how are you doing? I'm fine. Thanks for Welcome. having me. Welcome. Thank you so much. So, so ju just describe the area that you specialize in. Okay. So I specialize in aesthetic and anti-aging medicine. Mm -hmm. That is a growing and emerging field that pretty much focuses on minimally to non-invasive cosmetic procedures mm -hmm. to enhance the human appearance, yeah. skin and body, basically. Yeah. Where did the dream begin? Well, as far as I can remember, Dating back to about high school, I had this intrinsic interest in cosmetics. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've always wanted to be a doctor, but I always had this burning mm -hmm. passion for cosmetics, you know, feeling beautiful and confident. And then I guess as I grew older and, you know, got more exposed, yeah. I, I sort of situated myself into cosmetic skincare, aesthetic and anti-aging medicine. Yeah. So Soma, what does that stand for? Soma Glow. Okay. So Soma is actually Greek for body right okay. glow people from college have always been like your skin is so glowy so i kind of just adopted the name dr glow <laughs> and i am all about the glow not just you know externally but yeah. from within so soma is a holistic line of products it doesn't just treat the face or the skin we actually do have body products as well and we'd be expanding that line in 2022 yeah so it's a holistic skincare brand yeah but you know what we, we hear the, the the value of the beauty industry you now 1.5 trillion right which means that you have several brands out there and when you right. go inside any beauty you know salon or shop or you know you have several brands represented right so how is Soma's going to stand out from everybody else well, first of all, the packaging, okay. okay? I mean, the truth is that things that look good will naturally appeal to persons. I have spent a lot of energy fine-tuning. Mm -hmm. It might not be the final, but you know, it's growing and evolving. I love the, the black um, of the products because we're a gender neutral. We are a, you know, a very inclusive brand. Yeah. So it's not female or male. Oh, so, well, you see, I'm very happy you cleared that up because my next question was going to be about the men because, you know, men normally get tend to be left out of the right. beauty conversation. So, right. Yeah. And they're frequently underrepresented. And this is something that I basically, from I started practicing, I realized that I have so many male clients. Yeah. They might not be as out there as the females in terms of letting the world know mm -hmm. that they're interested, but males, they are getting into it. Yeah. So just from the packaging, you know, we want to appeal to everyone. Yeah. Let's talk about about the, the, the products that you have here. As, right. what, what's this one right here? 
Okay. Closest to you, right. So what you're looking at is the entire rose gold glow line that is oh. our over-the-counter acne skincare line, pretty much. Okay. So this product is one of our more recent products. It's the Soma Rose Gold Gentle Peel. Mm -hmm. It's basically, it's a chemical peel mm -hmm. that can be used at home. Mm -hmm. It is pH balanced, mm -hmm. so it's safe for home, but it also has acne fighting ingredients, ingredients that research has been proven, to, you know, to be safe and effective. Yeah. And is it a wash or do I leave it on? Okay, so these very special papers are your Soma prescriptions. Oh. For every product that you purchase, you get a prescription that gives you the full instructions on how to use the product. It gives you the skin Next, conditions yeah. that the products will treat mainly. And on the back, it has the key ingredients and the breakdown of the full ingredients list. And it will have your name, and of course, it's hand signed by me. Okay, So I this one is the moisturizer. This is the moisturizer. All so, right. so for the moisturizer, tell me about the moisturizer, where is it? Okay, so the moisturizer is this one, the okay. Soma Rose Gold Glow Moisturizer. Okay. Basically, it is for persons who may have oily, acne-prone skin, mm -hmm. persons who may have fine lines and wrinkles but don't want that heavy, greasy feeling. Mm -hmm. The key ingredients, as you'll see if you flip it to the back, are glycolic acid, kojic yes. acid, and niacinamide. Oh, okay? okay. And the full ingredient list breakdown is also Which there. we appreciate because right. sometimes you're using some things and you don't know what is inside right. the bottle but you still use it anyway, right. and you still enjoy it. Can I, may I open it? Sure. It, yeah, I just want to see how it looks. The con Ooh, this is nice. Look at the consistency. This looks nice and buttery and creamy. Right, rose gold. Yeah. Oh, and it smells good. Oh, what you're gosh. smelling is the natural rose fragrance. We haven't added any artificial fragrances to it. Yeah. It does feature rose oil as one of the ingredients. Yeah, that me feel like more and put my finger. Can I? <laughs> That's you fine. Sure? Okay, That's I just fine. want to feel it on my skin because sure. the true test of beauty products is when you use it, Precisely. right? Precisely. So I have a little bit of it here. So when we're, right, right. Okay, I'm going to rub it on my skin right here. This is nice and creamy. This is the moisturizer. Right. The rose this feels moisturizing. Right. This, that is for sure. And what I love about it is after rub it in, it don't feel like there's any residue. Precisely. It absorbs yeah. well and it That's doesn't good. leave any greasy residue. That's very good. So where can we find you, Doc? Because I'm going to need to find you still. <laughs> okay. So currently, and especially in light of the, the pandemic, yeah. Soma Glow by Dr. Glow is online. Okay. We do have a website www.somaglowltd.com mm -hmm. and we're also on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. So in the near future, I would be looking to open a storefront. I am on an extended maternity leave. That's okay. Yes. Mommy, um, no, mommy needs <laughs> self-care too. Yeah. Right. So um, I think I'd be comfortable going back out and you know sending out baby yeah. in 2022. So I'll be back with a storefront and mm -hmm. basically reopening and rebranding my Practice. I love it. Take your time, Doc. And I'm very proud that this is brand Jamaica. Right, right. Made in Jamaica. Born and grown. By a certified <laughs> doctor. She studied her thing. She know already come up. She makes sure that she did the research and right. it is lovely. It smells great. Thank you. Congratulations so much. on the product line. Thank you so All right. much. Oh, I want to know your self-care tip. What do you do for yourself, Doc? Because since you're offering this to everybody else, what do you do for yourself? Okay, so currently the products that I am using is from the Soma Bright Glow line. The bright glow line is for persons with sensitive skin okay. and persons who might have like hyperpigmentation and occasional breakouts. Right. I I'm suffering with a bit of sensitivity since pregnancy, mm -hmm. so my skin is not 100% what it used to be. So I'm focused on that line, which is a very gentle line. Mm, I love that. Right. I love that. Congrats again, Doc. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for joining us. Thank you. Dr. Shani Mortelli, founder of the Soma Glow Skincare line. Guys, get it and follow her online. We can smile returns after the break. But first, here is some soul music with Truvi at Harjay Coach Series. Enjoy.